Hello there, this is Zeon97 and welcome back to another Pet Simulator 99 video. I had a few people ask, so I wanted to make a really quick video on how to set up a macro to set down items. This macro, however, will not fail. There's only really one exception to this, and that is if a lucky block pushes you through the floor. That's really the only way this macro can fail. So what you need to do first is set up where you want to farm. Ideally, if it's in last area, then it's just for that, but there's other areas that are better for other quests. So roughly get in the middle, make sure everything's set up for the night, and then you need to check your inventory. You want to make sure that you have every single item so it will not throw off what you actually have. This is what it is. Feel free to go ahead and pause if you want to take a look at it. This is every single item. You could skip getting the secret key. I don't believe you can get full keys even as a super rare drop. Scroll down so that you can see it if you want to take a picture of it or a screenshot. But this is every single item and where it would be in the place, minus a few odds and ends that don't drop. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and use coin jars. The one thing that I recommend doing is you're going to need tiny tasks first. Go to tiny task, set continuous playback. You have to click that. Change your recording key to F8 and set your playback to control shift alt P. And the reason why we do that is just so that it doesn't conflict with any other buttons. Close this. Make sure you're moving your mouse. Your mouse has to be moving first. Now, the very first thing I recommend doing is setting down a giant coin jar. So you'll have something on the field to make sure that it doesn't fail. We're going to set that down. And now we're going to press F8 to record. Click the screen, jump and move our mouse slightly. Go to this. Go to items and then come over here. Click this and then pull it down and then click on the event that you want. Give it a few seconds. You're going to hit F, to close it, and then you're going to go over here on this X. Click it again. Give it a few more seconds. You're going to press F8 to start recording, and then you're going to hit Control Out Shift P. Now this will ensure that you jump. You'll go down here and open. You'll go over to Items. It's going to scroll down. And then it's going to place the coin jar. And now we're going to press F. The reason why we're pressing F is so that if you get the failure message, you don't have to worry about where the X is on screen. So you can see it's still going to go over there. You can set this up to where it does the little party uh, bags that drop any random event, which is usually what I do, and it will actually take you back to the menu unless there's a failure. And that's where the F comes in. So you'll hit that and then you'll hit the X and then you can see it back in action. Now this will be slower, but that's merely just because I set it up to be slower. You can make this go faster. It's entirely up to you. You can get into a really good rhythm of comments where you can break them almost as fast as what you'd be doing if you weren't AFK. So you see it's gonna drop another coin jar and then it's going to press F to close the menu after a few seconds. And then it's going to go over there and click. It's really that simple. And I will show you really quick that it does not fail. So we're going to drop a giant coin jar. Let's drop the magic. Drop a giant coin jar. Immediately start. It's going to run through the script again. I might break this coin jar with how fast I'm going because of this script I set up is so slow. Click the basic coin jar. Now we have the error message. This is what F is for. F will clear this. There we go. <laughs> and then it'll go over to X and do it. And this will ensure that the script always goes back to the main screen. So whether it works out perfectly, whether it gets messed up, you are good to go. 
The only thing I do not recommend using this script on is Lucky Blocks. When they spawn, with how many of them are in the area, they'll push you through the floor eventually. It can happen as early as 20 or 30 of them back to back. It can happen when you get to the higher amounts, but just don't, don't AFK with Lucky Blocks doing this. You're perfectly fine to do the party boxes, coin jars, anything else at all works. This is the quickest way to do it. And the only reason that I did it so slowly was just to walk it through. But yeah, like I said, it's that simple. And yeah, that's all you got to do. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. I always like answering them. And oh, I forgot. I'll be doing a uh, summary on the easiest way to get points here very soon. And then also enchant setups and everything else. It's just I need to have time to edit videos and put it together. But yeah. All right, for real. Take care. Bye.